Hey guys, George Scott 1345 here. Um, I'm imagining you're watching my playlist or you're watching this video because you need the tutorial. So, if you haven't used GarageBand before or you haven't used the 09 GarageBand, this is the video for you. Um, the 08 GarageBand is just like this, but this one's a little bit improved. And I do have to say, it's not like the iMovie at all. It uh, actually didn't make a couple of improvements and they didn't lose anything. So... If you once you open it up, you'll realize that you have basically a couple formats that you can choose from. You have a couple of these, and it, you can choose Learn to Play. They only have a couple of instruments right now. Um, Lesson Store. That's how you download songs on how to play on the piano. Magic Garage Band. You can click on it. I don't really get that, but if I want to open a new project like piano, choose, and then I name my song. course. Um, now, once I open this up, you have a lot of reasons, and you're just going to, a lot of you are going to be like, what am I supposed to do? Now, another good thing is to check out the Apple, Apple tutorial for this. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. If you hit the plus, bottom left of the screen, software instrument is if you have something in recording. Real instrument is if you're going to record vo vocals, and electric guitar is if you have uh, electric guitar. So right now I'm going to choose software instrument, and then I can open window and musical typing. So, I haven't told you guys, but I do seriously play piano, um, and I still upload my songs. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's that. So that's the grand piano. If I really wanted to record vocals, I'd hit real instrument. Now that's going to go into effects. If I hit record, I'll go, hey, what's up? My name is Paul. Now to turn off the metronome, hit control and metronome. So now, hey, my name is Paul. Hey, what's up? My name is Paul. So metronome off. Hey, my name is Paul. Now I made a couple tracks. Now if I want to edit the grand piano... And change it to something else other than musical typing. I can choose any of these. Like if I want a pop section horn. Now I can go to musical typing and actually record something. So. Hey, what's up? My name is Paul. Hey, my name is Paul. So there we go. I just recorded a little track. To edit that, double click it. You could even change the... change a note. Pretty cool. Hey, what's up? My name is Paul. Hey, my name is Paul. There we go. I made a little movie. Uh, you can also grab some loops if you don't know what that is, but that's what I like to do a lot. Um, just click on browse. I mean, click on, oops, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me just go to, <laughs> come on. Come on, George. You know what this is. Hold up. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to add a new one. Because that will certainly work. Forget this. Open. Don't save my song because I don't want it. But I'm going to open a random song. And show you how to edit into little things. So now you're going to realize that over here you have three little implements. The eyeball has every single piece of increment. If I go to a drum... Find this. Drag it onto my screen right there. Um, and it'll pop in there. Now I can find some dance beat. Sit on there, and there we go. Have my own little beat. You can make whatever you want with this. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good day.